So I'm here in the Valley of the Gods in southern Utah with my friend Dennis. We just met up last night to do a two-day kayaking trip today. We're going to start in a couple hours here. And he's got a really great little adventure vehicle. Well, it's a palace compared to mine, but it's a 1999 Toyota Sienna. And we're going to give you a little walkthrough of it. Well, it has to be convertible because yesterday morning I was taking kids to school in here. I want to come around through the front. So in this mode, I've got a little table, bench, storage, usually hang climbing gear on there. So what are, what are these? Is that just pegboard? It's just pegboard, yeah. These are great for clipping carabiners through those. Oh, yeah. And then for nighttime, storage under the bench, which is a little messy right now. And then that slides out. Looks on there. So that's two things stacked on top of yeah, each other. Two separate pieces that are the same, roughly the same height as the bench, and then. Rearrange the pads. And there's room for two. So where did you get these? That's a gutted Ikea couch. Yeah, plenty of room, plenty of headroom. Got some cord strung up there to hang stuff from too. Yep. I want to do a little bit more built-in storage. It's, it's all sort of prototype as I'm figuring out the final design that'll make it a little bit cleaner. So you made these? Yeah. Did you make the, uh, the frame I, for the bed too? Mm -hmm. And you were saying last night you don't have curtains yet. Right, yeah, it's, it's a list. work in progress for sure. I need window coverings because the sun came right in through the side into my face as soon as it was over the horizon. <laughs> Very cool. And so what do you have in, in here? This is your... This is the kitchen side. Stove, um, pots, pans, dishes, all the cooking supply stuff lives in here. Around the other side. This one kind of varies depending on what I'm doing, but other gear, generally so, since we're on the river, I've got that stuff. If I'm biking, there'll be helmet and shoes and pads and stuff in there, so the gear tote, and then usually bedding and other clothes and stuff will go into the bench. What a great setup. I really like it. I've never seen this before. So is it, how is it, um propped upright? Is it just it leaning is. up against the wall? It's leaning against the wall, yeah. And it's, and it's being well, held, held in place the by the... support most of it, and then these, these are what hold it in place. I've actually got it, um... Kind of come around, it's mounted to the seat belts. Okay. This is the second version of this thing that I was trying to come up with an easier way to install it, because I just had it, like, had to tie it in place each time, and it took forever to do the conversion. Now it's about a five minute job to go from van to camper. And you still got <clears throat> about a foot of space in the back there to put, you've got a couple buckets and a chair. Yeah, you can fit a cooler back there, food. Right now it's got river stuff in it, so. It's pretty flexible. There's a lot of space underneath here still when oh, it's yeah. out, so you can be pretty messy, which works well for me. Sometimes I, I've got a plastic roof box I'll put on when the kayak's not there just to keep storage out of the inside and make it easier to live in here. Sure. <clears throat> Bikes on the back. Yeah. What kind of... So we've got a hitch mounted bike mm -hmm. rack here. Holds two bikes? Yeah. The first time out was before I had that so the bike was inside with me and that was a little crowded. The uh, bumper stickers came on the van. Got it from a college girl, I promise. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's what they all say. 
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Definitely, I'll uh, continue to refine it a little bit more. And how many miles does it have on it? 140,000. Nice. I got it with about 110 and put 30 on it in a year. Nice. I'm doing this. So is this your daily driver in addition to yes. your adventure? Yes. Yeah, this is my only vehicle. So what chairs do you have to take out? I assume there's a, like a back bench seat and then two. Yeah. Um, I usually only put in. chairs. There's seven seats total. I usually only put in the back. So when it's in van mode. This is all open all the way through here, which actually I kind of like. Mm -hmm. And then the kids will sit in the very back row. That makes sense. They like it. There's more leg room, and it's also easy to just get stuff in and out. But mostly, those are the easier seats to remove. The middle ones are a pain to get out. The rear uh, ones just slide out the back. Okay. So it's <clears throat> much more out of laziness than anything. Yeah, it looks like an awesome setup. I'm impressed. Definitely more spacious than my car. Yeah. The RAV4. It, uh, the main thing it's lacking is off-roading. I've taken yeah. a lot of places I really shouldn't. The, the next generation will have to be some off-road vehicle, but for this and what I'm doing most of the time, I work, it works really well. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, you're welcome.